What's up, yo? Welcome back to the channel, Breaking Bad, Season 2, Episode 9. Last episode, we got to meet a really fun character He's in right Saul. Right over there. He's up there somewhere. <laughs> Better call Saul. Awesome. That was so much fun. Just the way that he handles business. Just the way that he talks to the, the feds and the police. It's just like, uh, he's a lot of fun. He, we only got one episode. He's he like, you know. Oh, yeah. 100%. And he's now representing Walt. And, you know, that was kind of an interesting little interaction they had at the school. It's like, if I could find you in two seconds, how yeah. far behind are the cops? So that's interesting. That whole situation is interesting. I guess it's... You know, pretty common for drug dealers to have, you know, representation like that. I, I did not know that. Yeah. Now I know that. You know, they even set out this big plan to get Badger off because he got busted and they busted the fake Heisenberg. But I really feel like Hank is like totally yeah. onto it. I mean, just the idea, like, especially once they kind of see his rap sheet, like, are they really going to believe that that dude was capable of creating this ridiculously perfect meth? Yeah, I don't know. Like, I mean, but then you maybe he learned it in jail. He was in there a long time for a lot of times. You don't just pick up that kind of chemistry, yo. You don't know that. <laughs> I would be shocked if anybody like it's not just something that comes natural. Like Walt is a friggin' mastermind when it comes to this stuff. So I think, like you said, because you picked up on that pretty quick, I was more in the thought process of like he's still dealing with his PTSD stuff. But you're like, he's not buying this. And well, no, because I think it has. Was like, why was that so easy? It was really easy. Like, would would the kingpin of this new drug reign really just show up like that? And no, I mean because look how hard it was know, to get but, Tuco. Right. Exactly. So it's like he's got, especially once you build up to to a certain level, you got minions to run all your businesses and do all your all your dangerous stuff for you. Like there was no reason for Heisenberg, Heisenberg, to show up there like that and and do that kind of business deal. Like it just wouldn't make any sense. So I think in combination with that and the idea that this is the purest method they've ever seen, like it just in his head, it clearly did not look like it was adding up. So yeah. Very interesting stuff. I and still love that when Walt was like, do we go, oh, was, do we back up? You can go forward. That was such a great Oh, are you busy? Scene. Are you busy right now? I like, just, right I now? Like, so you got, you're doing, right now? You, you, oh, you're doing something big? Like, what? Like, that was such a great It just scene. feels like such an inside joke now. Yeah. Like, oh, did you want me? Oh, were you? <laughs> are, did I bother you? Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> that, was, that was a LOL moment for sure. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just absolutely hilarious. Just, Walt, get the fuck out of Get out of <laughs> But I mean, so. like, I think that solidifies that, that, like, maybe Hank thinks of Walt as a little, like, you know, not smart. Right. And, again... Or book smart, no common sense. Right. And I think it's going to go back to kind of what I've been feeling since we kind of saw the first interaction between Hank and Walt. Like, it's going to take a lot. And I mean, like, catching him literally red-handed holding the meth. I don't for... even think then. I think you'd be like... How did you yeah. get this? It's going to take a lot for Hank to ever be convinced that Walt is the one behind all of this. I, like, yeah. it's He just doesn't view him that way. And it's, especially once they had their like little conversation, he's like, oh, you'd be surprised. Like, you, you've never, you don't, it's not common, like, interest. You haven't experienced what I've experienced. And Walt's like, well, you'd be surprised. Like, you never know. Mm -hmm. And it's just like... What? No. Mm. Like, why would I not know? Yeah. What are it, you hiding? It's definitely going to be something that's going to be a challenge for Hank. Because Hank doesn't view him that way. It's very obvious. So that's going to be really interesting to see it play out. And the whole thing going on now with Skylar. She's, like, wearing, like, nice dresses, going to work on a Saturday. You have to wear a nice dress to work, depending on the not environment on you work in. Maybe not on a Saturday. Yeah, but her new boss, where she's had an uncomfortable sexual experience uh, with in not, the past. I mean, I don't think... She, she was harassed by him. That's yes. a sexual experience. Now is single ready to mingle clearly like he is interested like she she is in a very interesting spot like he asked her out the line how i mean like, but like how do you like 
obviously she's not alone ever when she's pregnant so it's like hi you guys yeah. hey, some dudes are maybe into that kind of thing you never know i've heard of it i've heard of it i and, mean and like oh. you said she does look like a nice pregnant lady like she's gorgeous she, you know you're you're glowing when you're pregnant yeah and you know she she didn't get big everywhere she's just big in her belly i'm jealous like, of that you know some people are everywhere yeah, some people are, are blessed with that kind of situation apparently but yeah like that situation doesn't feel good at all no. like because she's probably suspicious that that's what walt's doing so maybe she's like "Ooh, i'm gonna get revenge well or... i mean that's typically like when somebody's cheating it's you know the person that's cheating is accusing the person that's not cheating of cheating just heads up y'all if somebody's <sighs> be like where have you been what have you been doing that's probably because they're doing something bad yeah i mean that that whole marriage and relationship situation is not feeling good it's kind of uncomfortable they just continuously kind of going back and forth at each other mm -hmm. and you know jesse's doing well though in the relationship department Woo! which is pretty awesome hanging out and hooking up with jessica jones he finally got a bed so i wonder if things that, are a little bit more comfortable now. right i wonder if that's going to distract him at all if his is his head going to be in the game now that he's like, I didn't think of that, you know, but that's a good idea. Yeah, that's hopefully he thought. doesn't. Hopefully he doesn't slip up, or maybe it motivates him. Who knows? We'll see how Jesse reacts when he's happy. Or maybe he wants to get out of the game. Maybe who knows? I mean, especially now that we found out that she's recovery, mm -hmm. so that could be interesting. You know, I don't know how well it would go over if you found out that your boyfriend is a meth dealer when you're. Sober. Months and months and months into the sobriety. <laughs> yeah, no, I probably... <laughs> that can't yeah. go over too well, so... Not a good idea. Yeah. You ready to jump into this next episode? Yes. All right, y'all, let's go! I just still don't understand why you don't go to Kleinman. This is where Walt's doctor is. These scans are not that difficult to read. I could take one look at Walt's and tell you immediately how he's doing. Doctors like people to think that they're so much smarter than the technicians. All right. You'd be surprised how much they come to us for input. Actually, I've heard that before. He's not doing well. Are you okay? Yes. Well, I'm fine, thank you. Is he gonna have a wet butt now? <laughs> I was just thinking that, get out of my head. See anything? I'm just a technician, Mr. White. That can't be good. Right? Yikes. That's so sad. That's, That's, I, I, I that mean, that I'm no doctor, but having a big giant white spot in the middle of your lung. Well, and then the rest of it be black? Which part is supposed to be good? The black part or the... Well, the I black... Don't know. Part, I don't know. Actually, the money laundering aspect. Not telling your wife aspect? Most people want to know why they suddenly got rich. How much time they giving you? Weeks. I mean, sorry to hear it. I was, uh... How much money are we laundering? $16,000. Comes to $9,960. Congratulations, you just left your family a secondhand Subaru. Mm -hmm. Have to cook more. A lot more. Yeah. That's, uh, that's my legal opinion. AK, while well, the sun is still shining. You know, we should do something this weekend. I'm thinking I should go see Mom. You're expecting the, the news from the scan to be bad. I need you to stay positive with me oh, here. I, I, I am. Positive is good. Positive doesn't change facts. Right. Oh, this is tough. I know, I'm sitting there with a big pregnant belly with a baby. Look, I actually think the news from the scan is going to be good. He's seen it, unfortunately. And he's smart enough to know what he saw. <laughs> we should do something. Yeah, <laughs> we should. <laughs> Have you been to the George O'Keefe Museum? Is that the uh, one with the A-bombs? Georgia O'Keefe. She's a painter. <laughs> You want to go to all the way to Santa Fe for a museum? Can't we just go to the movies or putt putt? It's the shit. A little culture won't kill you. 
Clear your social calendar. We have to cook. Yo, you want to go shopping? Go do yourself, all right? I got plans. Eating Cheetos and masturbating <laughs> constitute plans in my book. I'm going to a museum in Santa Fe, not like you need to know. Georgia O'Keeffe. Georgia O'Keeffe? She's a painter, and uh, she does these vagina pictures. <laughs> things are, are just painted. I don't know. What are you even talking about? You and I need to cook through to next Tuesday. Tuesday, Friday straight. Our methylamine, it's going bad. What? It's losing its chemical potency. We have to act fast before it goes to waste. Is he lying right now? Maybe. He didn't want to tell him that he's going to die in a couple of weeks. I'll be back before you know it. You can always call it. You're just talking to your mother? Huh. have to be some emergency. This is a little awkward. It's cute, though. How is he going to cover this shit up, though? I mean, with the way she's been acting, she's going to call, right? I feel like it. I mean, she's been super skeptical about everything that he's been doing up to this point. <laughs> Takes the friggin' <laughs> RV <laughs> to the airport. You brought a meth lab to the <laughs> airport. What? You said we were in a hurry. I said it's a trip. I, I just, this can't be good. Entire bags of Funyuns. Funyuns are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Protein, maybe. How are you even alive? <laughs> yeah, yo, check your phone. Yeah, I've got a signal. To assume Skylar checks my phone records, you know that. Skylar hits redial and some stripper answers. She's not a stripper, okay? <laughs> Dickwad. Why don't you try to find a place where it won't get lost, hmm? We are a million miles from nowhere. That sounds like a foreshadowing. Why don't you try to stick it up your ass sideways? Hmm. That doesn't seem like the best idea ever. No. Ready us. They just turned the battery on in the RV. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. it's gonna die. Yeah. Damn, look at that setup now. This is like a fucking legit thing. <laughs> I guess he didn't like him. Two point three five pounds. That's the last of it. Oh! Dang. How many total? Nineteen. Otherwise, how much? Six hundred seventy-two thousand dollars. All in. Each. Oh shit! Each. Yes! Hell yeah! <coughs> yes! Come on! <laughs> ah! Yes! I. Goes the generator. Perfect timing, yo. I am not done until this barrel is empty. I'd say we still got 10, 12 gallons of methylamine. Come on, where's your ambition? I don't uh, know. Well, it's not gonna start, rooms. right? Um, yeah, that's a given. Dumbass. Back when I asked you to <laughs> choose a safe place, where did you put them? I left them right here in the um ignition. Your imbecility being what it is, I should have known to say, Jesse, don't leave the keys in the ignition the entire two days. I wanted to leave them on the counter, bitch. Dang. We need to jump the battery somehow. Now really pull, not like a girl. <laughs> pull this. I am pulling. Oh my god. What the fuck? No! Oh, no the water! You dumbass, he has a fire extinguisher! <laughs> Jesse! Jeez! I'm 
Now they have no water out in the middle of the friggin' desert. Okay. <laughs> He's distracted. God, this is a lot. There's so many problems. He can't juggle booty and work. He's making too many mistakes now. Yeah. Well, I mean, he makes mistakes regardless. Yeah, but, but these are really big mistakes, I feel like. Probably a little bit higher than his norm. What I know is that I wasn't the one who dumped out the last of our water. That's what I know. There was a fire. Excuse me for thinking on my feet. Oh, is is that what you were, you were thinking? These two are... I can't. <laughs> They're the worst, but so entertaining. Yo, Skinny, hey. Listen, man, I need you to come pick us up. We're way the hell out here. Bring water. Leave now. He's coming. Dang. Is he? I think it's really cold in the desert. Yo, yo, where are you? He's almost, he's almost here. He's across the river. What river? Oh, man, there's no river. Oh, shit. Hey, yo, Pete. Yo, Pete. Phone's dead. Oh, shit. Dude, that is a really cool little time lapse. I love their shots in this show. I'm trying to trickle charge the battery. Theoretically, it should work. Theoretically. Well, what are you trying to do, Jesse, to fix the situation, huh? Right. How about you jump in That's there? Right. You're the healthy one. There you go. Yeah. Is he okay? He's just not feeling well. I thought he was gonna pass out there for a second. Hey! Hmm. Mr. White. Is he okay? He pass out? Yikes. I see him blinking. Is he blinking? It's like, don't die like that, dude. No. Oh. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse finally realized that he's me no, doesn't spoil sick again. Does it? Yeah. That's not why we're here. Why much? Well, I mean, come on, man. He's got to take care of his family. Yes. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> no, please, God. No. Shit. Are you kidding me? They could legit die out there, right? 100%. Mr. White! Mr. White! This is fucking awful. What are you doing? Cut out all your loser crybaby crap right now and think of something scientific. You make some kind of robot to get us up, or a build a new battery, or. Losing his mind. Bring me, bring me, brake pads. The, the the front wheels should have discs. Take them off and bring them to me. Brake pads. <laughs> okay. What are we building? A robot? <laughs> yeah, dude. He's gonna build a robot in a meth lab right now. Battery is a galvanic cell. It's no more than an anode and a cathode separated by an electrolyte, right? Right. One side you have mercuric oxide. What shall we use to conduct this beautiful current with? Hmm? Copper. Uh, liar. <laughs> uh, copper. <Yeah. laughs> Fucking Jesse, dude. 
I love this guy so much. Give him a break, man. I love him so much. He is so much fun. Anode. Damn. That is good. Work, damn it. I mean, this is obviously gonna work. Serious? I hope, I hope, I hope. Please, please, please. Oh. Oh. Building some juice. Positive thoughts, positive thoughts, positive thoughts. Keep it going. It worked. No fucking way. Dude, Walt is a fucking super genius. <laughs> that guy is, he's so amazing. Seriously. I'm just, I, I'm just, uh, wow. Whatever happens, your family will get your share. Really? Is this going to become tragic and like Jesse does it alone or something? I'll be hearing from you. Yeah. Wow. This feels really sad. It does. Well, I have your scan results. And you're showing signs of remission. Oh. What? Walt, your tumor has shrunk by 80%. Holy what? shit. Sweetheart, you're right. It's very good news. It's very good news. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me? Guess oh. what I tried to get out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> wow. I'm fine. Stop. I'm fine. You have radiation pneumonitis. See that scary looking thing there? That's tissue inflammation. Oh, Dude, he... The other day, I was coughing up some blood. You probably have a tear in your esophagus from the coughing, and that can be very serious. You could rupture and bleed to death. This is something that we're going to have to do. With something like this, you have to call me immediately. Oh shit, you could cough so hard. We'll have more to discuss in the next few weeks. But for now, I'd say that you folks have earned some celebrating. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I mean, he's like in total. Cooking. I mean, like, he's in total shock. I'm in shock. Like, he missed, like, he saw that scan. He thought that that was his cancer that was just still gigantic in his, yeah. in his lungs. I mean, after he kept saying he doesn't deserve this, yeah. or, or, I mean, you know, he doesn't deserve the good things. He, like, deserves all the bad, and it's like, oh, man, well. Should have just been positive, right? Oh shit. Are you okay? He just need he's holding that in. Well, wipe your blood off there, dude. What is uh, He his... had he had some build up. He needed to get it out and that was the way he that he got it out. And it, I'm sure because of his you know, his assumption from what he saw in the scan, he was expecting bad news. So I I think that's part of the reason why he reacted the way he did. But he didn't seem overly happy and, and like, joyed that. I, I, I can't put like my... he did a little bit. Well, what was that outburst all of? Like, what? He, I think Is it just built-up so, aggression yeah, and, like, frustration? He was so terrified. He was just so terrified that, like, okay, it's going to be, I'm going to be around for a little longer, like, and you just get so scared that you get angry. Yeah. You know. No, I don't mean I don't. <laughs> I don't, not on that level of just, like. Okay, you know when you get into a car accident and you, you scare, you get so scared and you're terrified, but then you're so pissed at yeah. the other driver. How dare you put me in harm's way? Like yeah, that? I don't. I'm gonna assume. Yeah, I don't. I'm having. I'm having a little bit of conflicting ideas. Like just under, like completely understanding what he's dealing with, because it's such an impossible thing to put yourself in his situation. Oh yeah. But like. 
just the idea that he was stuck out in the middle of the desert for a few days with no water, no real food, um, and they were cooking that most of that time to set his family up for the rest of their life, basically, because he was expecting to like only have a couple weeks left based off of what he saw in that scan. That's what he was thinking. Mm -hmm. And getting out of there, making it home, getting the positive like diagnosis from the doctor, like I could totally, like, that, that is a lot within a few days to be dealing with. And he just might just be boiling over completely, just, like, losing his shit, I guess. Yeah. I mean, he destroyed that little <laughs> little paper towel dispenser. Uh, yes, yes. And he probably broke his... I would have, you have to have broken his hand. Like, no, you, can't, I, well, you can't just punch that thing like that. Not when, you, when you're, like, full of adrenaline, though. You kind of don't break stuff, uh, right? Oh, uh, it still breaks. You just don't feel it break. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, but that was that was an intense and like nerve wracking episode. Uh, yeah, I didn't I didn't have a lot to say while we were watching, but because they set you up from the start, from the very beginning of the episode, that his cancer has gotten worse. Yeah. Because he's coughing and he saw the scan and the way he was acting, it just kind of set you up for a downer the whole time, pretty much. And then I mean, celebration at the end. Okay, Yay. but this is the problem with like watching a show that you know has more seasons. It's like you know something has to continue. Not exactly sure what. Yeah. But like, so like, imagine not being live in the moment. Yeah. Imagine people like watching this. They think that he's gonna die. I mean, just the idea that. We're coming off of watching a show like Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. like where you legit didn't know who was I don't have. Safe. I don't have expectations. Like I don't. I don't. I like that show has changed my the way I approach TV shows now. I mean, just the, leave yeah, one wolf yeah. alive and the sheep are never safe. <laughs> just the idea that any character is safe in a show anymore. Like nope. I don't care if this show when the show came out. Like it doesn't matter. It it still creates Game of Thrones. It still put me in a mindset to where like. I'm fully, like, he has cancer. Like, really, really dangerous cancer. And he's in a world now that is very, very dangerous. I, I don't, I'm not going to be expecting him to survive this whole show. No, like, that, I... That's the expectation that I've kind of created my, for myself. Just to, like, and if he continues to live, like, that's a really good diagnosis right there. 80% of it's gone. Yeah. But that shit could come back in for a sure. heartbeat. Yeah, it could grow. Like, so, like, I, I don't. I don't have that kind of mindset anymore with a TV show where well, it's, no, like, I mean, like Jesse, it's not called Dexter you, where you, the character's going to live to the end. Like the yeah. show's not called Walter White. Like Breaking Bad No, I Bad mean like could. do you think like Jesse could potentially do something? I don't think. Do you think he knows how to cook now? Not to Walt's level. I, I don't I don't think what Walt does can be necessarily taught. It's like that really good fancy chef that – you, like they have an like ingredient list, but it's like their magic touch to create something. Like, like when I tried to make cinnamon rolls today, it did not turn out. So yeah, I mean, I, I think Jesse could follow his blueprint to an extent, but I don't think it would ever come out as good as Walt's, just because he's so many levels above Jesse in terms of the chemistry and just the knowledge he has. Yeah. But like, I think anything could like again. A show like Game of Thrones changes your entire outlook on everything that you're watching. I have no expectations in terms of any character to any point living or surviving or, or like any of that. So, yeah, like I'm not even thinking it. Like all I could think about is like he's got serious cancer and he's in a really serious situation now. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't share the same kind of mindset kind mm -hmm. of as you do right now do with think, that. Do you think that Skylar's going to check his phone records? Yeah. I mean, I think he was pretty confident that that she does that on a regular. Yeah. But where the hell Skinny Pete? <laughs> like, oh, right? He's fucking like, he's just rolling like out how in the far, middle of nowhere. How far did he go? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what river he could have possibly hit. So maybe I'll check a map when we're done recording here. Um, and you we guys need, can scream all you want about what river he possibly could have hit. Because um, we saw a little body of water with Walt when he took care of a Crazy Eight. 
He was he was over oh. a bridge of water. I don't know what body of water that was. So I don't think it's anywhere close to where they are. Yeah, but who knows? Again, anyway, just the fact that he hit a a river is probably not a good in thing. in a desert. And he's probably just still driving, like trying to find him. Yeah, with no cell service. Fun times. Good, yep. So yeah, even if even if they do find like what what would that number be registered to for skinny p like well well i mean if she calls it what finds out he's like a drug dealer yeah maybe i mean probably how, how do you explain again it that? goes back to one of our older conversations what's worse her calling the number and a drug dealer answering or another woman i'm i'm fine with the drug well no i'm not fine, <laughs> not with, fine any with it you're not fine with it but what's worse the I, the woman would be worse probably i guess unless she would be happy to know that that's Finally, she understands what Walt's doing. It's like, oh, okay, so he is talking to a girl. Okay. Like, now we can get past that and figure that out. But if he's, like, dealing drugs... with or who his brother, drugs? Yeah, with who his brother-in-law is, that could be... Bad. Yeah, so... All these weird discussions, Any guys. other thoughts? Nope, I'm just trying to think of emojis. So I'm thinking the plus sign, minus sign for the battery... A sunshine. Unless there's a battery. Yeah, unless there's a battery. There I doubt might be a battery. There, battery. Might, there might be. I don't know. Okay. But yeah, plus, minus, sun, and a blue heart. Boom. There you go, y'all. You getting heard, longer. Yeah, <laughs> you heard the woman. Give her her emojis down below. Leave some comments. Let us know what you thought of that episode. We love hearing from you. Absolutely love seeing all the emojis pop up. Such yeah. a fun, fun little game we got yeah. going here. I like the game. So yeah, leave them comments, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye.